On January 30th, an in-conference matchup took place at Eisenhower High School versus Shepard. During the pregame, Tony Chick Q. Cariello was presented a plaque for his final year as head coach of the Astros after coaching for 33 years. After the tip-off, Shepard fought for the ball, but after a failed pass attempt, Avante Thomas swooped in to get his first points of the game. Going under the basket was Daniel McGovern keeping the ball alive for Panagotis Primbus hitting a corner three. The Cardinals and the Astros are fighting back and forth, but Darion Pippen was left wide open. Then answering back was Jeremiah's story for his own. Keeping the lead was Cyril Nichols bouncing off in the paint. Right after, Thomas put one down at the tip of the arch, nodding up the game 8-8. Eight eight. Then Logan Tassiati reached in for a rebound, getting over to Ellis after a failed shot attempt. Made points by both teams kept them neck and neck after senior A.J. Abrams took a jumper right outside the paint. At the end of the first, 18 Cardinals, 15 Astros. Going into the second, Thomas hit another three. On the Astros side, Story hit the iron bouncing in for two. A.J. Abrams rushed on the outside shooting off the glass while being fouled making his point after. While saving a pass attempt, Ariane Lee Barnes kept the ball in his hands for a score and went for another. This did not stop the Cardinals. Tassiati made his own goal after being fouled. The Astros cleaned up a rebound then Tassiati made another from an underhand pass from Salinas. Darion Pippen walked in for more. At the end of the second, Cameron Ellis was fouled with three shots. After the half, the score was 38 Eisenhower, 28 Shepard. The Cardinals flew all over the basket, putting up 31 points in the third, only allowing the Astros 10. Early in the fourth, the running clock started, leading to a Cardinals victory. Eisenhower 82, Shepard 45. Head coach Neil Migas told WCCN about their standout performance in this conference matchup. Uh, so first half, I thought Shepard gave us a good battle. They were battling with us. We weren't hitting threes. The pace was great. It was what we wanted. But we weren't hitting very many threes, so we came in there at halftime. So everything's fine. We're going to start. One guy's going to hit. Two guys are going to hit. And we'll be in good shape. And then we started a, a guard or a wing for our center to go small because um, I didn't think their big guys could keep up. And then we got hot. We hit six threes, I think, in the third quarter. We got real hot, and their pressure and intensity was great. Migas spoke about A.J. Abrams. This guy's a star, man. He's, he was the SSC Red Player of the Year last year, All-State football. He's, he's, a, he's all eyes now or everything. Um, up for, you know, he's in that race this year for it again. Every game coming out, he's a warrior. He's got all kinds of injuries. He's battling. Um, a big adjustment in the third quarter was him guarding their point guard and, and making his life kind of miserable. That's exactly what he did. He's so athletic, um, gets steals. I taught him how to dunk, so he dunks sometimes whenever I show him that. Um, and yeah, he's he, get, he gets us going, along with those other guys, but he's definitely our, our leader gets us going. Abrams gave his insight about his performance. I thought I performed, I thought I performed good. Started off kind of slow in the first quarter. Came back in the second quarter, started hitting my shots. Got my rhythm right, and then in the third quarter, I just, I just felt it. He plans on reaching the conference player again. Just keep playing hard, don't, under, don't underestimate none of these teams that we got coming. Keep working, you know, just stay in the gym, stay humble. Finally, Migas talks about what's next. We got four games this week, that was one. So we got three this week, so we got a really busy week. We got Samberg coming up tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go home right now and start watching them. My assistant's been in charge of watching them a little bit. Um, they shoot the crap out. I've seen them live twice now. They shoot it. They're threes. They're fast, too. They're guards, too. Kind of similar to us, except uh, more shooters and attackers. And then a big one Friday conference uh, against Revis, uh, who took us, who upset us last year at their place. These guys remember that. And then Saturday, we're on the road at Lombard, um, who we've never played before. So I'm anxious to go in there and see what they can do. I know they're, they're uh, pretty guard-heavy as well. I'm Claude Martinez reporting for Will Cook County News.